Hey, what's up? In this video, I'm going to tell you how to run your insurance agency to the ground. How do you make the agency completely crash and burn and explode into a million pieces? Obviously, this is to show you the other side of things. I'm always telling you what to do, but I'm going to show you some very, very obvious things you can definitely not do. And if you do do them, expect to follow what I'm saying in the title of this video. This is how you will crash your agency to the ground, never grow, and go broke. So let's dive into the video. All right, so first one, this is a very simple one. You can start complaining about all the difficulties and you know all the bad customers and how hard it is and you know all the challenges that you're gonna face start complaining about all of them every single day and focus on all the wrong negative things that's the first one number two you can hire anybody that applies hire anybody who wants a job who's interested and just seems like they might be good that's a great way to crash and burn your agency another thing is don't delegate any of your work just handle all the certificates handle all the billing questions answer every phone call that comes into your office and try to do it all yourself and remember i'm telling you how to crash and burn and destroy your agency so follow these tips if you want to do that handle all the service work handle all the things and never try to maximize your time don't do that because then you will actually possibly succeed you know another great one is don't ask for referrals don't ever ask anybody to get a quote don't ever ask or push beyond any level of resistance if you do push past any resistance, they might say yes, and then you might get yourself a quote and an opportunity to make a sale, which you don't wanna do if you're trying to crash and burn your office and agency. So never ask for referrals, never ask for quotes. It's a terrible way to crash and burn your agency. The next one here is don't actually follow through with what you're gonna to say to your customers. Don't call back your customers. Don't offer them you know, a solution to their issue or their problems with their policies. Don't get back to them and don't follow through with what you're gonna say. Another thing is don't show up on time. Don't come in early to the office and don't ever really leave late. Because if you do that, you could put in enough work that will make you beat the other guy, which you don't wanna do in this case. Another one is don't seek any conflict. Don't actually look for challenges. Don't look to expand. You wanna stay small always stay in a bubble and anything that feels comfortable stick to that don't ever do anything that's going to make you feel uncomfortable because then you might just grow and do something better in your agency so you don't want to do that another thing is spend money on really bad low quality leads go to some of these lead vendors which i'm not going to name drop because i don't want to like get sued or something for like slander but but yeah you want to spend money on the worst possible leads spend money on really old outdated leads that agents have called 40 to 50 times in the same day because that's the best way to get you to where you want to be which is a crash and burn so yeah get terrible leads buy them spend a lot of money on them and reinvest into those constantly. That's, that's a great way to blow up your agency. Lastly is never have a plan. You don't wanna have any type of marketing plan, sales process plan, customer service plan, or any type of long-term vision or goal. You don't wanna have those because those can get you to a certain place, which you don't wanna do. You wanna just get to the crash and burn. So if you just allow those things completely out of sight, out of mind, you will easily crash the plane into the ground and explode into a million pieces. So yeah, don't make sure to not have any goals, make sure to not have a vision, and make sure to not execute on any of that either because obviously you won't even have it in the first place. That's all I got. I hope this video does make some sense to you. I'm being extremely sarcastic 
in this video. These are absolutely the opposite of things that you should be doing. I'm saying it in such an extreme form that it's just like sounds stupid and crazy, but sometimes you have to hear it that way. You're like, oh wait, maybe I shouldn't be picking up every phone call. Maybe I shouldn't be taking all the COI requests. Maybe I should actually answer that one customer that's been calling me for the last couple weeks trying to get a hold of me. And these, you know, these are these are things that you know every agent deals with. So hopefully this video made you laugh a little bit and made you realize like it's just insane. You need to have goals, you need to have vision, you need to have an executing plan. Uh, and you need to hire the right people. You can't just hire anybody. You can't do all the work yourself. Like, don't think it's gonna be all you. You need a team. You need to get good quality leads. These are like super important things that help grow and, and get uncomfortable. The other thing too, that I think like a big one there was like getting uncomfortable and learning to become comfortable being uncomfortable, if that makes sense. That is key because there is constant, constant ups and downs in this business and you need to learn to be okay with all of it. And, and if you don't, you're gonna have a very, very hard time growing the agency. So that's all I got. I hope this brings some laughs and value to you in some way. And uh, yeah, we'll keep seeing you guys at the top. Hit me up on Instagram if you wanna talk to me, DM me. You can also go to chriscostantini.com, boom. I'm doing consulting stuff, so if you ever wanna chat with me there, set up a call, happy to help you guide, you know, grow your agency. Um, also, guys, for the next month of September. I wanna shout this out really quick. I'm going to do half off on the consulting calls. If you do sign up in the month of September, we're gonna give you half off. It's just a promo, end of the summer months, getting people going back into the, you know, the, the, the summer, I guess, fall, whatever, end of summer, end of summer sale. That's basically what it is, hit me up. I'm happy to do a 50% off for the month. I rarely do these, so take advantage of it. And uh, yeah, that's all I got for you guys. Hopefully that brought some value. We'll see you at the top. Peace.